Apple has improved Meta. Already! I mean, the Apple Vision Pro has only been out so long, and we've already started seeing in the last few updates when it comes to Meta improving on their, well, what was, it, it showed that there was no competition. The user experience on Meta has been pretty bad for a while now. There's been no reason to improve until now, until Apple come into the game and Meta realize if we don't start doing things or getting on with certain aspects, that Apple, no matter how expensive the headset is, are going to overtake them. And this just shows how good competition is for companies. Because without competition, you do stand still. But what am I actually referring to here? So in the last two updates, when it comes to Meta, we've seen an improvement on the pass-through. They've, they've made it a little bit darker, but it's a lot less grainy. And it looks a lot sharper. Does that sound like apples? Yes, it does. That's exactly what Apple have done with their pass-through. Now, is it as good as the pass-through on apples? Probably not. That's mainly for the fact that the displays and, and other things aren't quite as good. But the software has improved massively in one update. Then in the next update, 65, version 65, we're 65 versions in and we're only getting improvements. That's a bit unfair. They have done things, but I just think in the last two updates, we've seen actually important updates and it, it warrants a video. So in this last update, they've put in travel mode. Sound familiar? Yes, it does, doesn't it? Now going forward in the next updates, I really want to see some UX or user experience updates. A massive one, and I still struggle to this day because it really should have been done by now, is if you don't have an app installed, it shouldn't really show in the actual main library. Now, I know they've got the filter up at the top, but it's really not that difficult. I mean, you don't go onto your Android or iPhone and see a load of apps on your home screens or well, not on the home screens, you know what I mean, the, the, the actual screen of apps that you do not actually have installed, but you may have purchased. Because you may have purchased, or you may have got some free, that you don't actually want anymore. And it would be really nice if the Horizon, Meta Horizon UX could actually do that. Because <laughs> at the moment, it's still a mess. You can still go and... You, well, you're not sure whether you've got a game installed or not installed, and then you have to actually install it when you realise it's not installed, because yes, like the rest, like most of you, we've I I bought the cheap, the cheap MetaQuest three, the lower memory. I do have to juggle things, although to be honest, I haven't really deleted anything in a while. But still, it would be nice that we have a separate bit for games and uninstalled games. Almost like having an app store that has all the games that are available, all the games that you potentially have purchased, and all the other little areas, all the things, basically, you've spent some money and you've bought some apps, but you haven't necessarily installed them. And then, on the home screen of the MetaQuest home screen, in pass-through or not in pass-through, you have, say not circles, because we don't want to, you know, let's face it, they don't want to copy exactly because apparently when Pico came up with a very similar layout, Boz, Boz the man, Boz Boz, um, said that imitation is the biggest form of flattery. I think that's what he said anyway. If I remember rightly, I think that's pretty much what he said. So, Apple, imitation is the best form of flattery. <laughs> Apparently. I'm sure Meta have been working on these things for a long time in the background and they haven't panicked thinking we need to get this sorted. <laughs> I'm sure. Definitely not. But yeah, you could have like rectangles or basically tiles that they already have. They don't even really need to de redesign them. Just have them not with purchased games that are not installed. And I know it shouldn't wind me up, but it is something that really needs fixing. Because I did a video a while back on how to delete games on your Oculus Quest 2, as it was back then, that's how long ago it was. And I did get a lot of people saying, well, that's just uninstalling it. Well, deleting it and uninstalling it. I mean, in my opinion, it's the same thing. Why don't you Google it? 
<laughs> but I can see why they were frustrated or why they thought they were getting something in a video that potentially wasn't the thing they wanted. And it's the thing I don't, I don't want to see a game in my game library that's not actually installed. I expect to go somewhere slightly else for that. And there's loads of other things that they could do. I mean, a lot of the things you can do via the app. You don't even have to put your headset on to do certain things. I mean, even looking at your library, you don't need to. So if they've got library on the actual app on your phone, why can't they do the same on the actual headset? But there's loads of things I think they could actually remove and clean up on the user experience side of the MetaQuest um, Horizon OS. Just general little tiny things like do we really need settings, quick settings and, you know, do we need that many clicks to get to a certain bit? Really, we should be aiming for, you know one to two clicks at the most to get to where we need to get to. And there's all that little bits that really you shouldn't need to put your headset on to actually be able to do some of those things or the majority of those things. I mean, you could even you can even launch your game from the from the app itself before you put your headset on. So that would make more sense. Just pick up your phone as you walk in to your headset, launch the game, stick your headset on. You don't even need to see, you know, a lot of 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 the stuff that they want to show you. Now, obviously, when you've got your headset on, you want to be able to go somewhere and be able to access it. I'm not saying getting rid of the menu altogether, but I'm just saying it needs cleaning up. Or things need priority things need showing more and less priority things need hiding away a little bit more. But I only see the good side of this of the fact that Meta now have competition. Apple, whether people see a £3,500 device as competition, the competition is there. You can tell this for the fact that, you know, Zuckerberg has gone all Gen Z or Gen Alpha. I don't know what the different ones are. I'm too old. He's trying to appeal to to people, a wider range of people. And he's trying to do the Steve Jobsy type thing. Love you, Steve. But I think it's a really exciting time for both headsets. I'm hoping that Pico come along and do a similar thing. And then we'll have three different headsets with different OSs competing because that's the only way that we're going to see a big, a big change when it comes to the operating systems. We're starting to see it. What things do you want to see that are different? And we'll try and put a list together and, I don't know, not send it to Boz because he won't pay any attention anyway. Probably just block me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.